So in the previous video I showed you when regular constraints are checked in relationship to the after triggers. Since here we, uh, basically any time your commands will affect the underlying table, that's when these constraints are checked. And so, so this update actually caused the constraint to check because we're modifying the table. And then right here I'm trying to modify the table again and this constraint, or the, this constraint was checked yet once again for this insert. So basically anytime I try to touch this table directly or do anything, that's when the regular constraints are checked. Now if I do instead of here, instead of, um, basically any kind of update or any command we do on the table, the instead of trigger is going to execute instead. So th this command here, even though it looks like it's directly modifying our biased table, I call the table biased, um, actually doesn't. With an instead of, recall from the instead of video, uh, our code will run instead. And if our code does nothing, for example here, I'm going to do nothing, then um, in fact let's just print uh, instead of, there we go. So we'll print instead of, which basically does nothing to the table. So I can I can uh, turn around and say, let, let's get a value instead of bias. I'm going instead of doing update, let's just do insert. Make this simple. I'm going to say uh, insert into biased values. And remember, our check constraint doesn't like A's and I's, so we'll put my name back in here, Jamie. That should violate it. But again, with the instead of trigger, we're not directly modifying the bias table. Instead, this this uh, trigger will execute. And our trigger does nothing, so we actually won't get any data into our bias table. I'm going to put some goes in here. So here we go. Let's run this whole thing. And again, uh, I, I put the check up here just to... I said, hey, if there's a bias table, drop the bias table. I'm going to recreate it. When I drop the table, that also drops any associated triggers with that table. Okay, let's run this. The value. So notice here I said insert into bias, and I can do this all day long. See, we get our instead of message, but when I say select splat from bias, there's nothing in there because the instead of trigger did nothing. And since the instead of trigger did nothing, this check constraint is never checked. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, there's nothing actually going into the bias table, so this check constraint need not be checked. Now if I turned around here and I said, well, uh, insert into a bias, uh, select Let's see, select the value value from insert. And I'm, I'm just doing this explicitly because I want to make this more interesting. Plus uh, ABC. So I'm going to take whatever they're trying to insert and then tag an ABC on the end. Well, now, since I'm in, st in the instead of trigger and I'm actually directly trying to do something with the table, once this insert executes, and the database says, oh, okay, I'm really, you really want to put some data in there? I'll put some data in there. Then it will run all the regular uh, constraint checks. And in this case, we have a check constraint. So this will either violate or not violate, depending on the value of the value inside of the inserted table. Okay? And, the, and in this case, we're just trying to insert Jamie. So, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's rerun this whole script. F5. Boom! The insert statement conflicted with the check constraint, CK, blah, 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 blah. Conflict occurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't like me trying to insert Jamie here. But that that check happened uh, right here. In fact, watch. I wonder if I can print before the terrible insert. I'm not sure if this will work. Let's see. And let's do after the terrible insert. All right, let's rerun this whole script. Oh, there we go. Before the terrible insert, we were good up to this point. Notice we don't see after the terrible insert anywhere in here because we didn't get that far. Our insert directly modified the table and the table didn't like what we were putting in because we were trying to put in this Jamie from this outside insert. Okay, now if we put something legit in there like legit, okay, legit doesn't have an A followed by an I. So legit plus ABC. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it will be fine, it will be fine. So legit plus ABC will be legit ABC, run it, and that actually goes in. That's fine. And we see that we get after the terrible insert as well. In fact, the insert's not really terrible because it's, it's legit. <laughs> legit plus ABC does not violate this check constraint. Okay, so I don't want you thinking that triggers are just a way to get around all the regular constraints. The regular constraints are still checked as soon as you try to directly modify the data in the table. With an after trigger, the modification happens 
um, before the trigger is executed, and with an instead of trigger, uh, the the constraints are checked on those tables as you modify them. We, I did the example where I did nothing, then we did this example where where we actually inserted data into the underlying table. So anyway, that's that's instead of triggers combined with the uh, logic of the regular constraints we have on our data table.